This is code.org. What do we got? Move to the pile of dirt. We can do that. And tell me how many shovels to remove. Oh, okay. Notice this little number. I think it's trying to tell us something. Use as, um, as few as blocks as possible to solve. Workspace one out of four. So I already have one block in this area, but I'm only allowed to use four. Now, the frustrating thing with that is I'm not certain what to do, right? We just got here. The nice thing with code is be wrong all you want. I'm wrong all the time. My students can tell you. So let me just try to move forward first. Look. Okay, that will get me there, I think, right? And you can always test with code too. Yep. All right, that gets me there. Now, what do I want to do? Well, I don't want to fill. It's not a hole. I want to remove. But if it's 10, let me just start dropping blocks. One, two, three. And this is remove one. So I assume it just removes one shovel. Let's see. Three. Okay, so seven left. Yeah. Well, that's ridiculous because they only want me to use four blocks. But they have, look, look. So this will do it. If you're thinking this, that's because you're right and on the correct track. You're smart, right? Because you do need to remove 10 pieces of dirt or 10 whatever. And so this makes so much sense. And it works. However, the catch here is they don't want us to use this many blocks. Nice thing about coding is you can be lazy, right? So I removed dirt one, two, three, four, ten times. I don't need to do this. Goodbye. Because instead, I can just put the number 10 here, put one remove block here. Now, when I run this, the computer will hit repeat 10 times and say, oh, you need me to run this 10 times. And all the code in this pink mouth thing has to happen 10 times. So I remove one, zoop, two, three, four, and bam. If I had code under it, by the way, it would run late after it runs this 10. But that's all we need. Ba -ba -da -da! Awesome. Onward.